Hey everybody, welcome back to Ravenhawk Coins and today's edition of The Nickel Hunt. Yes guys, we got a box of nickels. We're hoping to find some really cool stuff, maybe some key dates. Get lucky like Rob finds treasure and find a DD-0-1938 Philly, I believe it was. That thing was amazing. If you have not seen that video, guys, go over there and check it out. It's titled um, something, it's a recent one, it's titled Collection Dump. And really, really cool find that he got. So here we go, we're going to see what we have here in the search for everything nickel. We're looking for V-nickels, we're looking for buffaloes, we're looking for war nickels, a.k.a. silver nickels. You just never know. But one day I'm hoping maybe I'll find that shield nickel. All right, here we go. So what do we have? We have, dun, dun, dun. Yes, guys, circulated nickels. So what I will do is look through this entire box and see if we have any obvious enders. If we do not have enders, we will be back with the world famous nickel mids. But if we do have enders, we'll open them live on film. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. All right, everybody, so we have our pin, <laughs> penny, <laughs> nickel mids all ready to go. No obvious enders, but hey, that shouldn't keep you down because you just never know what you're going to find in the rolls. Remember, guys, face value hunting is where it's at. All right, so here we go. We're going to get into the first one of the nickel mids and see what we find. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back. We have gotten through our first of the nickel mids and I mentioned that video from Rob Finds Treasure, guys. And I'm not sure if I said 38 or 39, but it is the 1939 that has the double Monticello. I know it's the Philly, but I uh, just wanted to clarify that in case I messed that up. And guys, one of the things that you want to do when you're looking through the nickels, you want to look at all every single last one and if you have yourself a jeweler's loop that's one of the most key important things to have because you're going to find some really cool stuff over time so and although we only have three things guys i'm very happy if this continues through this box i will be very very happy man the 2009 street continues yes guys i was actually really surprised to see another 2009 denver and uh, I'm not sure how long this streak's going to hold up, but hey, I'll take it. Then we have a 1940 Philly. Last but not least, and the best find so far is a Buffalo Soldier. And this one is a 1936. And, oh, it has a mint mark. I didn't even look for the mint mark before. Let's see, guys. It's a Denver. It's in pretty beat shape, but hey, it's not slicked. You can still see the mint mark. So very, very cool. Happy for that. All right, so hoping in the next one we get some silver in the house, but you just never know. We'll see what we get. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we've gotten through the second of the nickel mids and still have some cool finds. The 09 streak is strong today, guys. We have another 2009 this one is a Denver. Let me get to focus in just a little better. There we go. There's the obverse and the reverse. Then up to bat is a 1959 Philly. Then we have two from the two more from the 50s. This is a 54. And this one is a Denver. And then this one is another 54. And that is a Philly. So not too bad a find. Uh, to give you an idea, 54 Philly, uh, you know, if it's an MS-60, these aren't MS-60, but these are still worth more than a nickel. So I'm happy to find one of those. But if you find this in an MS-60, uh, it's a buck, you know, so you can, you can do pretty well in a lot of finds. Um, you definitely want to look for some of the more crazier ones like the 1949D over S, um, the double die. Reverse on the 45P War Nickel, uh, 55D over S, 54S over D. Those are just some key ones that you really want to keep your eye out for. And then definitely on the 1942D non-silver, there's a D 
over D where they're like a cross basically. And uh, that one has a huge premium, guys. So just a little tip, things to look out for. So we're going to get in the next nickel mid and see what we find. Ravenaut coins, stay tuned. All right, everybody, so we've gotten through the third of the nickel mids, and here are our finds. Guys, the 2009 Denver says he's just going to keep hanging out because we got another one. This was in the very last roll of that nickel mid, actually. Then the next one up is a 1954, and this one, I believe, is a Denver. Let me take a double check real quick. Yep, it is a Denver. Very cool. Then we have two from 1946. This one here. This one actually looks really nice, guys, for 1946. And let's see if we can get it to focus a little better here. It is a Denver, it looks like. Yep. But uh, I think that's pretty cool. And it looks like it's starting to get the beginning of a wood graining going on, which can happen with nickels and... Uh, pennies and whatnot, things that have copper and a mix of uh, uh, metals. Sometimes uh, they don't laminate together properly. That's why it's a type of air, wood grain. Very, very cool. So we have two more nickel mids to get through, guys. Let's see what we find. Ravenhawk coins. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. So we got through the fourth of the nickel mids, and I thought I was going to be skunked, but we got one find. Goes to show you how... This can turn so quickly. So this is a 1958 Denver. So very cool. I'll add it to the stack there. And uh, we have one more nickel mid to get through. Let's see what we find. Ravenaut coins. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. So we got through the very last nickel mid. And we have some really cool finds. And it kind of goes to show you how, you know, cool find. Couple finds, couple finds, one find in a bunch. It just luck of the numbers, guys. So here we go. 2009 is back again. So that is, I think, number four of today. Then we have a 1958. This thing could be in better condition, but it's a Denver. Then a 1956. who's a little bit dirty, but hey, it's a Denver. Then his buddy who came in and said, hey, I'm from 56 too. Is a Philly. All the way from Philly. <laughs> All right. And the next one is a 1949. And that is a Philly. Then we have a 1947 Philly. And a 1939. And I was really, really hoping to see a mint mark on the back. But, of course, it's a Philly. The 1939 depressing Philly would be nice to find one that would be uh, double dyed but hey this one's just a normal run of the mill but check this out guys this one's really really cool this is a 2008 and it has a little bit of an error in the um, the mint mark you can barely barely see it on there let me see if I can get this to focus just a little better All right, guys, I guess it's my fault because my fingers keep moving everywhere. So right there, 2008 Denver, but the most of the mint mark is pretty much gone, so it's pretty much a light, almost no strike. So that's a kind of a grease strike through. So very cool to find that on top of everything else. Guys, make sure, like always, to support all the channels out there. And if you want to correspond, it's ravenhotcoins at gmail.com. Our P.O. box is 721296. Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. Like always, take care of each other. Ravenhot Coins, have a great day.